Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on sepsis in pregnancy and puerperium. For definition of the terminologies, maternal sepsis is a life-threatening condition defined as organ dysfunction resulting from infection during pregnancy, childbirth, post-abortion, or postpartum period. Septic shock is a subset of sepsis with circulatory and cellular or metabolic dysfunction. Characterized by persistent hypotension requiring vasopressors to maintain MAP more than 65 and serum lactate level more than 2 mmol per liter despite adequate volume resuscitation. The risk factors for sepsis include anemia, obesity, impaired glucose tolerance or diabetes, immunosuppression, history of pelvic infection or vaginal discharge, invasive procedures like amniocentesis, cervical cerclage, caserine section, and ERPOC. Perennial trauma at birth, prolonged rupture of membranes, retained product of conception, poor socioeconomical status, group of strep infection contact, and asymptomatic bacteriuria. These are some of the common symptoms of sepsis, depending on system. General symptoms are fever, chills and rigor, rashes, lethargy, loss of appetite, and altered mental status. For central nervous system, altered behavior, neck pain, headache, blurry vision, and weakness. For respiratory, cough and SOB breast, pain, swelling, or redness. GIT, pain, vomiting, or diarrhea. Genital, offensive vaginal discharge, increased lochia loss, or delayed uterine involution. Urinary, loin pain, dysuria, frequency, or hematuria. Wound, swelling, redness, or warmth. The QSOFA score is a score to identify sepsis quickly, by assessing the systolic BP, respiratory rate, and mental status of patients. A score of two or more is associated with an increased risk of mortality, thus prompting escalation of therapy, increasing the acuity of monitoring, and upgrading to intensive care. The Hour 1 bundle is the first step of management in confirmed sepsis case. First, measure lactate level. Obtain blood cultures before administering antibiotics. Administer broad-spectrum antibiotics as soon as possible within one hour after recognition for sepsis. Initiate rapid administration of 20 to 30 meals per kilogram crystalloid for hypotension, or serum lactate 4 mmol per liter or more, to be completed within first three hours. Apply vasopressors if hypotensive during or after fluid resuscitation, to maintain mean arterial pressure more than 65 mm of mercury, first-line drug is norepinephrine. This is a summarized flowchart of the symptoms of sepsis, assessing using the QSOFA score, first-line management including securing airway, breathing and circulation. IV fluid rhesus if MAP less than 65. Noradrenaline if indicated. And then subsequent management. There are different antibiotics recommended for different infections. For endometritis, chorioamnionitis, and septic miscarriage, we give IV sephurazime 750 and IV metronidazole 500. For Caesar wound infection, give IV cloxacillin or IV unison. For mastitis, give IV cloxacillin. For community-acquired pneumonia, give IV augmentin or ceftriaxone. For acute pyelonephritis, give IV sephurazine or ceftriaxone. For toxic shock syndrome, give IV cloxacillin and clindamycin. And for severe occult sepsis, give tazacin or meropenem. Sepsis alone is not an immediate indication to delivery, except for cases of chorioamnionitis. The decision to deliver the fetus should be individualized, and will depend on gestational age, maternal, and fetal condition. Low index of suspicion to aid early recognition of sepsis is the key element in improving clinical outcomes. Consider the diagnosis of sepsis with otherwise unexplained end organ damage, in the presence of an infectious process regardless of the presence of fever. Maternal sepsis and septic shock are medical emergencies, treatment and resuscitation must be initiated to reduce maternal morbidity and mortality. That's all for this video. Thank you.